Hey guys, it's iTech every week, and today I'm going to be doing a tweak review on IntelliScreen X. Um, this costs ten dollars in Cydia by the ModMy repo, uh, and it also does come with Messages Plus. Uh, if you guys are familiar with that package, um, I'll go ahead and search that. Basically, it just adds a lot of features to um, your messaging experience on your on your phone. So that's pretty much uh, what Messages Plus does. But here it is. Um, Messages Plus is eight bucks. And IntelliScreen X is ten bucks. So it really, if you plan on getting Messages Plus, you may want to consider uh, just going ahead and getting IntelliScreen X because IntelliScreen X is um, a great tweak. Even if IntelliScreen X didn't come with Messages Plus, I still would have bought it for ten dollars. Um, it is a little bit on the expensive side for a Cydia package, but uh, I can say I, I definitely think it's worth it, especially because it does come with Messages Plus, which I found uh, very useful also. Um, but IntelliScreen X, um, ten dollars in Cydia. And it just, I accidentally just left Cydia. But anyway, um, but really, um, IntelliScreen X, I can say, is probably the most satisfying purchase I've made in Cydia. Um, and it's probably my most uh, useful uh, Cydia package that I've gotten. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the review now. Um, basically, actually, you know, before we do this, I'm going to go into the settings app and show you some of the settings you can do with it. So let's go ahead and go into settings. So um, here is the, the main page of IntelliScreen X right here. So what you can do with this is when you're on your lock screen or um, basically just in your notification center, um, you can have your Twitter feed, your Facebook feed. So I'll go over here again. Um, so I got my, I, you can get your new mail messages. You can get your Twitter feed. You can get RSS reader, um, all those. You can get those feeds if you add your links. Um, and can you, you can also get your Facebook feed. Uh, I currently have RSS readers and the Facebook uh, feed off, but as you can see, if we go to Notification Center, to the left I got Mail, and then um, to the the right I got Twitter. You can you have your entire Twitter feed here. Um, right now it's not working for me. I have this tweet called Lorem, and uh, Lorem just lets you, like if you slide a notification, it's obviously not going to work with this Twitter feed because that's not a notification, but if you have a notification, you can just slide to the right and it clears it. Um, but it's glitchy with this. It doesn't that that tweet needs to be updated to fix. But basically, you can scroll through other tweets and stuff like that, and um, you can even slide up to refresh for the tweets. You can also go ahead and compose a new tweet if you would like um, by hitting the plus up here and then hitting tweet, and you can go ahead and uh, do that. Um, it also integrates it very nicely. If you tap on a tweet here, you can um, open it in your Twitter application. You can retweet it or you can reply to it. So that's integrated very nicely. Another feature that comes in Telescreen X is this quick compose. Uh, button right here for new text message which is also somewhat a feature of messages plus i'm not sure how that works um i'm not sure what feature is in telescreen x or what features messages plus but basically you can both them if you get in telescreen x but you can go ahead and compose a new text message by doing that um you can also uh if you if you have activator you can also set um a gesture you can do something on your device to activate the new message um to come up so you can i have my, i have it set to double tap in your status bar and it it has the uh, create a message come up so it's double tap and it just messed up. That's call bar. So if you double tap on the status bar, um, the messages, the create a message comes up and you can go ahead and type that. Um, also, another thing I like about Messages Plus is when you have a new message that comes in, uh, I'll test this right now. I'm going to go ahead and send a, uh, a text message to my phone right here using my iPod. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and send that. And it should go through any second now. Okay, so it did go through. There is a notification. And if I tap on that, it has the messages plus come up. And now, the cool thing about it is it's kind of like an overlay. You're technically, I'm still in the settings application. So if I press the home button right now, it'll, okay, right, it'll take me right back um, to the settings application. But um, basically, you have this X up here. You can just go ahead and X out that way or press the home button to exit out of the message plus screen. Or you can go ahead and reply to your message. Um, but if I press the home button, you can see I'm still in the settings application, so it's pretty much like an overlay, um, which is very nice because you you have quick accessing to uh, replying to messages and stuff like that very quickly, which I uh, which I like a lot. Um, and that's another thing I'm gonna go into. Let's see here, um, extension messages plus. Uh, so in here you have this option uh, for manual banner dismiss, which means if you have a notification that comes in, it'll stay there at the top of your screen until you either um, hit X. Uh, to cancel it and make it go away, or you can um, go ahead and tap on it to reply to it. Uh, so I actually have that off because I don't want to have to manually do that every time. Um, and the other feature in Messages Plus is close on reply. So when you reply, it'll close, uh, which is very nice also. Um, 
So now if we go back up to the top and go to the settings, you can go ahead and access all your different things in here. You can hit you a wide variety of uh, different customizations you can do with the different types of uh, feeds, like the Twitter feed. You can customize a lot. You can customize the mail feeds and stuff like that. Um, you can customize your Facebook stuff, so it's very nice. You have a wide variety of customization in that. And now, until we screen next, the basic settings for those, you can uh, automatically go back to the last page that's open. So, so we go into the lock screen here. Um, here's my mail, and if I exit on that, and then I go back right in, it'll be right at mail. Or you can, um, if you turn it to off, I'm not sure, you might have to respring. I'm not positive, but maybe not. Okay, so let's go back to mail. And then if we go back in, okay, so you can see now it just goes back to the main page always. So you can you can do that. Show lock screen is one of the main uh, reasons why a lot of people buy this week is because you can access all of this stuff right in your lock screen, which is very nice, especially because you can access notification center, um, which is pretty much why, which is pretty much one of the main reasons I bought this tweak. Um, so you can customize that uh, lock status bar clock. Uh, I have that to on. That is just this basic clock right there. You can change the time of your lock screen when it dims so you can uh, you, so you can see those are all the different settings you can have in there. Um, and lock slide actions. Now this is like if you have a, someone, if you have like a missed call or something and right after that missed call happens it'll say uh, like slide to call or something like that or if you have a new message you it'll say um, slide to reply uh, or something like that. So you can change that on and off right here so it's just automatically you can either just slide to unlock and always slide to unlock or you can um, have it how it normally is where if you slide right after you get that notification um, to do the action after that so you can change that um, push notifications you can clear the badges you can show uh, the action menu you can change uh, the transparency of the the lock screen cell uh, right there and it also has different options for status bar icons so right now I have an unread message which you can see is that there's that icon right there in the upper right I'll try to get this a little bit closer here you can see there's a message right there um, and so you, you have the option to change all that if you would like uh, to be in silent mode if you turn on the silent switch you can uh, have the the, uh, the icon in the status bar also you can also change the amount of days uh, before an event or reminder appears in your notification center so if I have um, an event for tomorrow it'll appear but if it was two days away uh, it would not appear, so you can change that. And then um, you also have the alert behaviors to show the banners or hide ISX for alerts, which I'm not sure what that is. Let's see, we got a description here. Um, so this is like it's the show banners if you're in the lock screen and you have it on, it'll have the banner that comes up in the top. Uh, you can turn that off so it doesn't do that. And hide ISX, which is Intelli Screen X, obviously, means uh, like when if you have the display off and you're on your lock screen and, no and notification comes in. Um, it'll either be like it won't have Intelli Screen X being displayed. It'll just have the normal um, notification come in, and it'll look like you don't even have Intelli Screen X installed. Or you can have it on, so when you get a new notification, um, it'll just have Intelli Screen X there. So I'll give an example of that in a little bit here, um, and then you have other options right there. Let's go ahead and get into the actual review of the lock screen part. And if I want to slide over here, you got your mail again. And if you want to slide over to the right, you got Twitter. So you have pretty much your notification center right on the lock screen, uh, which is very nice. Uh, but that is basically it uh, for Intelli Screen X. It's very useful. I enjoy it. It's a tweak that you'd be using um, pretty much every day. Uh, but the last thing I want to do before I end this video, I want to give the example of this high ISX for alerts. So right now it's on. So now if I send a message really quickly here, you can see Intelli Screen X is not there. And it just has the message come up like uh, you normally would. Now, if I go ahead and turn that to off, and that's in another one. Now you have Intelli Screen X that appears, and you can check your messages right in there. Um, that's Intelli Screen X for you guys, um, along with Messages Plus uh, that comes with Intelli Screen X uh, to be a complete package at ten dollars in Cydia. Um, and I can definitely say it's well worth the money, guys. You won't regret this purchase. It's definitely a very useful tweak, and uh, I just it makes your iOS experience that much better. But that is it. I hope you guys know this review. I appreciate your likes down below. Uh, and you can also subscribe up top to be notified when I release my new videos. Um, I'll have coverage on jailbreaks and uh, more sorts of tweak reviews and stuff like that. Um, some unboxings and different kind of tech stuff. Uh, but basically, you can get all that content if you subscribe up top, and you'll be notified when I release those videos.
You want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, and I also provide tech updates there um, and all the tech news and stuff going on. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you'll be updated uh, there. My Twitter username is the same as my YouTube username. I check every week, uh, so you can head over there and follow me if you would like. But that is it, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.